promenade to enjoy. But there's no time to paddle, Paul. Bogner antiques await. Take these off for close work. Stefan? Yes. Can I have a look at something in your new, new carousel there, please? It is, it's just coming around now. <laughs> it's that wee brooch. There. What do you think of that? It's not gold. So this little brooch is not interesting because it's precious. But the workmanship, all of that fretting, all of those intertwined foliage scrolls are hand cut. Wonderful work. And an unusual, almost pendulum or baluster-like form. It has a name, this little brooch. This is a balance cock. A what? A balance cock is a watch part. Specifically, the cover for the balance wheel of a pocket watch with a verge movement. And it dates to the 18th or the first quarter of the 19th century. Could that be a fiver? Let me take one look. For you, Paul, yes. You've got a diamond tester. You've got a diamond yes. tester, haven't you? Check, see if that's a tiny little diamond chip in the middle of that. You spotted something, Mr Laidlaw. I think maybe uh, when they converted to a brooch, they got themselves a little old rose-cut diamond, because it is faceted, and inseted into the top of the bearing cover. Oh, yes. It doesn't transform it, but if I'm being dead honest with you, Stefan, if I send that to auction as a balance cock brooch, it's worth five to 15 quid. But if I say it's got a small diamond in it, somebody's going to go, that seems cheap at 15, you might get 20 quid for it. It's a diamond. Is it? Do you know what? It's not great. Now, let's catch up with Paul and Bogner. What's about Bodai? Happy Buddha. Happy Buddha there can be, can be 60. It's too much for me, but I love these. I love them too. They're brilliant things, Beautiful. aren't they? You know, I mean, you look at him there, he's just having ball. a ball, isn't he? He's truly about as happy as they get. Yeah, he's had a good lunch, hasn't he? This is the final reincarnation of Buddha, is it not? Bodai. Bodai, yes. Um, Stefan, I think I'm done. You know what I'm going to buy. First thing I looked at with a diamond in it. Oh, right. I've got yes. to buy that because yes. it sounds fantastic, and it is. For a go, bottom line on the Japanese carving, the very best is forty. This might work for you. Forty pound for the five pound brooch and that. Thirty-five and five is what I'm saying. We can do that. But we just did. Stefan, a shake on it. Well We're a ball, didn't we? Well, thank you very much. Buddha might bring me luck. I wish you well and I hope I see you again. Cheers, Paul. With Paul's lucky Buddha in the boot, let's catch up with Kate in Portsmouth. Dean there, 18 here. 20 there, 22 here. Shake of the head, it's like 20 it. in the back of the room. Selling at 20 pounds unless I hear 22 elsewhere. Fair warning to all. That's Paul out of the traps with a decent profit. Paul will still be laughing when his Buddha's sold. Start the bidding at £40. Pounds. It's 40 a happy pounds chat. Of interest at 40. The Buddha, I mean. £40. Pounds, 40 Happier pounds, than me pounds, at the moment. £30, pounds, any interest at 30 I'll look at 20 uh, 30 I have. They've woken up. £30 pounds I have and 32 I'm looking for. £30 pounds I have and I'm selling that way. Oh, Unless I get 32 elsewhere. Fair warning. 30 it is. Well, you win some, you lose some. Put it this way, the Buddha looked happier than you. 